Okay, so uh, let's get back to the original uh, problem that I intentionally created, which is there. If I go to View Solution Explorer, I intentionally forgot to include uh, this file. Uh, Mm -hmm. this file that I've created, uh, dummy.cpp, which provides the actual definition for variable dummy, right? And uh, so what happens now is this. So we have um, uh, main.cpp, and we have my header uh, .cpp, which is kind of silly name. I'm sorry, um, .h, it's a header file, right? So we have this uh, header file. We have main CPP. Of course, preprocessor includes, replaces uh, the include my header .h with the content of my header .h. So what, uh, what gets here is that beyond the preprocessor -pre stage, we have um, uh, this main function, uh, which uh, has some code. But what it does, it refers to something called dummy, which is a global variable. And it intends to send the content of that dummy to the standard output uh, C out device. Right? And this is basically the result of uh, C++ compiling this main.cpp, and it has the extension .object, main.object file. So in fact, if I look this up someplace inside my project, there is this uh, debug, uh, and here it is, main.obj, right? Main.obj does this, but interestingly, uh, because dummy, if you recall, was actually defined in some other uh, source file, um, uh, so the object file, uh, instead of having uh, the specific address of this uh, variable, just basically say, uh, has uh, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, something like that. It's essentially saying that the linker, uh, the linker will uh, specify, specify where it is in memory. Okay? That's what, the, that's what the object file will contain. So the object file compared to the final executable image uh, result of, of this compile simply has some gaps, has some unfinished business, and that's why a linker is called a linker because if we do include uh, essentially what what happens is that uh, this object file has its own little symbol table which includes uh, all all names such as dummy and main uh, in in its in its internal format but when this is uh, given to the linker right uh, linker it's actual it's actual it's like link uh, that's the name of the utility Right, uh, it it will it will try to process this this entire object file, and it will see the dummy uh, is located elsewhere, and it will try to look up every single object file that it needs to process. Will never be able to find it because I intentionally excluded dummy.cpp from uh, from from the project, and it essentially it gives us this error. Right, so if I go back to the uh, to to my to my build and say build again, it's going to tell me that, hey, uh, link error, um, uh, unresolved external. That's perfectly it, exactly it. It's like um, the other reason uh, for it w could, w could be that I misspelled it somehow, right? It's going to say the same thing, hey, un un uh, unresolved external or something, you know, similar in similar manner. So uh, anyway, um, this is uh, something that needs to be solved uh, simply by going back to you know View Solution Explorer, going to the list of source files, and this time I will add an existing item because I know it does exist, and I know I kept all my sources under source subdirectory right here, right? So I'm going to say uh, include this dummy.cpp, add, it gets added, here it is. 
and yes, it contains the uh, uh, the actual uh, declaration for dummy. So that pretty much covers our usage of um, uh, of the preprocessor and uh, its role in what we're trying to do because we're trying to begin to write some realistic programs and uh, as we move along uh, we will uh, perhaps we can go through some examples today just to look at some some more or less realistic programs with with the knowledge that we already have about uh, variables global variables uh, functions function calls so this is going to be the topic of our discussion today <clears throat> 